I've used calendars all my life, mostly paper calendars, but not anymore. Recently, I made a video on how to use the Apple Calendar on the iPad. There's a link in the description below. Now I use the Apple Calendar on my iPhone because it's with me all the time, and you should too. It's simple, it's easy to use, and you know, you carry it around in your pocket. If you'd like to learn the basics of how to use Apple's Calendar on the iPhone, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, my name is Rich and I make easy to follow videos for seniors and beginners on how to use their iPhones and iPads, you know, without going nuts. The iPhone and iPad are so different from other tech devices because they're just easy to use and really handy. And knowing how to use the calendar on your iPhone is one of those basic things that just makes life easier. And that's what today's video is all about. By the way, if you do find this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing by tapping the little subscribe button. It helps us grow. Today I'm going to show you five basic features that will have you up and running with your iPhone calendar app in no time. I'm going to show you how to set up your calendar and add a Gmail account in settings. Now, to be clear, you don't need to have a Google Mail account or calendar account to use the Apple Calendar, but I just know a lot of people have them, so I'll show you how to do that. I'll also show you how to navigate the different calendar views. You can view your calendar in a variety of ways how to add and delete an appointment. Apple calls them events. Um, and I'll show you how to create and view different calendars. You know, you can actually have more than one calendar. And then lastly, I'll show you how to use Siri to create an appointment. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you how to do is how to add a Gmail account. Now, we're talking about calendars and I'm calling it a Gmail account, but if you have a Gmail account, it includes a calendar. So I'll show you how to add that. I know, again, if you don't have a, a Gmail account, you can just skip past this little section and move on to the next. But if you do have a Gmail account, this is how you add it. First thing you do is go to settings and you scroll down till you see calendar and then you tap on accounts and you tap on add account and then you tap on Google and it says settings wants to use google.com to sign in so you can hit continue and here you choose an account your Google account will automatically pop up and now you enter your password and here's where you turn it on I don't want mail I don't want contacts, but I do want the calendar. So I'm going to click Save, and my account is now added, and it's called Gmail. And that's how you add a Gmail account. And you could add other accounts too. If you have Yahoo or AOL or Outlook, you can add those in as well. But that's how you add a Gmail account to your calendar. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to view your calendar. So if you tap on the calendar icon, you may have a screen like this. Sometimes it comes up in the month view, sometimes the year view or the day view. But if it shows up like this and you want to see today, you can just tap on today and that'll take you to today and you can tap on that and now you see a list of everything that you've got going on starting from today and going on through the future but you can view the calendar this way or you can tap on this little icon up here and that'll take you to today and show you a list of appointments that you have as you tap on each day and if you untap it, you just go back to the various months that you have. And again, if you tap on the year, you go all the way back. And another way to view it is if you find yourself in yearly view, you can just tap on the month and that'll take you in and you can tap on the day and that takes you to a list. And then you can tap on the little list icon right here and you can actually see times for the day. And you can go back and see different appointments that you've had, like that. Or you can view it in a list view where you see everything just like this. 
And that's how you navigate through the views. It takes you a little while to get the hang of it. To be honest with you, it took me a little while to figure that out. But if you play around with it for a few minutes, you'll see again, you know, if you find yourself in the year view like this, just tap on the month, tap on the day, and now you have a list. Or you can tap on the little list icon and view exactly what's happening for that day. And you can change days at the top. It's really pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, the next thing I want to show you how to do is just how to add an appointment to your calendar. I mean, really, that's about the most important thing you're going to do. So we're going to add an appointment. You tap on calendar. And in this case, I showed up in the day view. Again, you may be like that. So you can just tap on that and now you're in the day view. And you can click the little plus and put, type in your event or your appointment. Dinner with friends. And we're going to say that's today at 6 p.m. You tap on the time and then you can make it however long you want. We'll make it to 9 p.m. because I can't stay awake much later than that. And you click on add. And now you've got the appointment, dinner with friends. It's really easy to be able to add an appointment like that. Now, if you wanted to delete that, all you do is tap on it, delete event. And it'll ask you, do you want to delete it? And you say, yes, delete event. And that's it. And now that event is gone. And that is a quick way to add an event or an appointment to your calendar. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how to use Siri to add an appointment. And Siri is pretty smart in doing this. And using Siri is pretty easy. So again, we'll go into the calendar. We'll go into the day view like this. And you'll just tell Siri to add an appointment. Hey, Siri, schedule dinner with friends today at 7 p.m. It's on your calendar for today from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. The appointment is called Dinner with Friends. And now when you just scroll down here, you've got your appointment made and you didn't have to type in anything. It's that simple to use Siri. Hey Siri, make a doctor's appointment for Monday the 23rd at 1 p.m. Your appointment is scheduled for Monday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. The appointment is called Doctor's. And now when I slide over and I go to the 23rd, there's the doctor's appointment right there. And now I can just delete event. And I've taken it off my calendar. And that's how you use Siri to create an appointment. All right, the last thing I wanna show you is how to create different calendars. So the first tip was how to add a Google Calendar, but that's a whole separate calendar based on another uh, company and their software. What I want to show you how to do is how to have multiple calendars within your calendar. And by that I mean maybe you have a medical calendar, maybe you have a vacation calendar. You can set up as many calendars as you want. And here's how you do that. So again you go into the app and you tap on calendar and you tap on add calendar. And I'm going to call this medical and we'll make it yellow and then we click done. And now I have a medical calendar. Then I click done. Now if I want to go to today and I want to make an appointment at 3 p.m. I'll put visit doctor. We'll make it 3 p.m. But you'll notice it's not yellow. So if you go back in and you change the calendar to medical like that. Now it's yellow and you go back. And that's how you do it. 
And if you'll notice, I use different colors there. You can use, you can color code your calendar so that you can quickly see what's coming up based upon color. It's an easy way to do that. And you can set up as many calendars as you like. I have a friend who has, I don't know, 20 calendars. That's crazy to me. I only have a few, but you know, I do like to have a, a medical calendar and I like to have a vacation calendar and things like that. And that's what I find helpful. There's just a lot of different ways you can use this app, but once you get it set up and you play with it, you'll find out just how powerful it can be. I know I just covered a lot, but honestly, using the calendar you've got tucked away in your pocket or purse can be so handy. Please don't let anything I've outlined today intimidate you. It's really not that hard. Once you make and cancel a few appointments as well as navigate around the calendar, you'll be up and running like a pro in no time. Well, I hope this short tutorial helped out. If you made it all the way here to the end, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.